Parks Casino is so close, you can get lucky in no time. With hundreds of tables and thousands of slots, you're closer than ever to winning. You are great. Parks, Pennsylvania's number one casino. Get lucky in no time. Somebody we used to refer to as our close friend, but our close friends stay in contact with us. Ladies and gentlemen, Vinny Brand! Yeah! Hello! Oh, I love coming in for Freaky Friday. Where do you find these people? I love the way you call it Freaky Friday also. Well, at first Friday, whatever. All I know is most of them came for the food. Uh, which was, I never eat, but it was delicious. It was good stuff today. Mm -hmm. I've never eaten at a first Friday. And this is a special appearance. This is the first time that one of us wasn't pregnant that I've been here. <laughs> That's true. We <laughs> should celebrate. Yeah, well, let's not celebrate too much. Right? <laughs> I know what you're talking about, yeah, dirty yeah, girl. Right, uh, right. You, you know, it, it, it's, like, it's like when a kid hits three, it's like they're used to him, mm -hmm. and he has yeah. to have another, he another one. one. He, doesn't, <laughs> yeah. he doesn't want. He doesn't want them after three years old. He wants infant to three. That's, and that's the good about time. It. Yeah. Right. Infant to three was all about. After uh, three, it's all a downhill ride. Uh, 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 <laughs> I, just, I like my fifteen and twelve year old. I like all my kids, but the mm -hmm. fifteen and twelve are still fun. Mm -hmm. The older ones are just. You'll see. It just you know. Every time the phone rings, I go, ah, no. <laughs> what's this going to be? <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> it's never. No. Hey, what's up, Dad? Uh, uh, well, well, you know, it has been a year since you've been in the studio with us. I, I'm, I'm sort of curious. I mean, what sort of mishaps have happened in your life Here, lately? Here is my favorite uh, Here's my favorite thing that happened. So it's Mother's Day. I'm going to go okay. buy my wife a gift for Mother's Day. She mm -hmm. tells me she wants uh, a, a vegetable garden. And okay. I yeah, and I thought she was going to want jewelry. So I right. heard vegetable garden. I'm like, sweet. This is <laughs> going to be so easy. Mm -hmm. So uh, I go to the Home Depot. It's mm -hmm. 8 o'clock at night. Maybe it's even later. It's probably 8.45. It's late. Okay. And uh, I go out. I'm wearing a nice fitting pair of khakis, expensive. I'm only telling you that because I'm not a cheap man. Okay. And uh, I bent down in the Home Depot mm -hmm. to pick up a flat of tomatoes. And I hear this like ripping sound. <laughs> and you know, I'm, I'm outside, I'm in the garden section. And I'm like, dear God, did I just rip my pants? And I'm gonna tell you something, I had a full, I don't know if you're allowed to say this on here, I had a full 100% ass blowout my it was i'm telling you a 12 inch rip in the ass of my pants there's nothing left in my pants and at first i'm like that couldn't happen but i'm bent down and suddenly i feel a breeze across the boys i'm like oh my god so I, I, and, and you've gone commando I, I was not commando. Okay. I was not commando. Just to clarify. Uh, but I, I, have been, I do go commando. In fact, right now. So <laughs> more too much sharing. Too much that sharing. we don't talk about on the radio. We don't do that. So here's what happens. I have no. I have. I, when I tell you the ass blowout, there's nothing left in the ass of my pants, and I have not completed a purchase. And it's Saturday night before Mother's Day. So I take my shirt off and I wrap it around my waist. <laughs> and here's the problem. I am now naked from the waist up, shopping in the Home Depot like it's perfectly normal. I'm just buying tomatoes. What are you doing, freak? So I walk up to the register and the girl's like, it, it's, it's cold out. And she goes, huh? Must be pretty hot out there, right? And I'm like, well, if you must know, I blew the ass of my pants out. <laughs> if you really have to know. Okay. So she, to her credit, she goes, listen, there's a Target right next door. Go to the Target. And you can buy pants because I had to go back to the club. So I walk into Target. It was now like 9.20 at night. And you're in, walking into Target, shirt around your pants, shirtless. Shirtless? Okay. And let me tell you something. If you ever need immediate managerial assistance, <laughs> <laughs> I promise you, walk into the Target with no shirt on because they find that odd. And I walk in. Now, a manager immediately walks right up to me. Some mother covered her son's eyes. I'm like... I keep myself in okay shape. You know, they so, welcome that at Walmart. I, 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 right? <laughs> so here's what happens. I walk up and the manager says to me, uh, can I help you, sir? Like right away, I go, yeah, I'm looking for the pants department. And I'm not even thinking that I have no shirt on. And he goes, well, uh, maybe you want to start in shirts? And I'm like, I punch you right in the face. So I go to the pants department. I get like three pair of pants. And I go to the dressing room. And I say to the girl, it's an older woman, a little midgetly, like short, midgetly. older. She was. She was midgetly. And um, I go, I got to try these pants on. And she's like, uh, okay, uh, would you like to get? I'm like, no, I don't need a shirt. I got a shirt around my waist. I find the pants I need. I walk out. 
I hand her the two pairs that right. I don't need. I'm wearing the Target pants. Sure. And I've got my shirt on, which should make her happy. <laughs> Everyone should be happy now. <laughs> and she goes, sir, uh, you have to buy those pants. I go, I'm going to go buy them right now. And she goes, no, no, you need to take them off. I'm like, I'm not taking these pants off. And I go, I can't. <laughs> and she's like, well, I don't understand, sir, why? So I go, if you must know, I blew the ass of my pants out. <laughs> All right, now... Instead of her saying, oh, okay, she goes, well, you know what? You, you still have to buy those first. Like, I'm not doing it. I walk to the register. Right. I find the only 17-year-old kid. And I'm like, great. He's not going to care. I'm going to hand him the tag. He's going to scan it. I'm going to walk out. I hand him the tag. 17 years old. He goes, what's this? And I, I'm like, okay, it's a tag, obviously, right? So I go, it's real small. You have to look. Because I'm, I'm trying to come with a or something. So... He goes, sir, I need to know what this is. I go, those are the pants I'm wearing. And I'm just buying them. I'm wearing them out of the store. He goes, well, I think you have to pay for them first. I go, I'm already here. I'm just going to pay for the pants. When you let me pay, they're going to be my pants. And then everybody wins. They're yours now. They're going to be mine. <laughs> he calls for a manager. And the guy comes over. He's like, sir, you've been a problem all night. I'm like, first of all, I've been here for 10 minutes. What the fine all night. <laughs> It was awful. And then I bring my wife tomato plants the next day. She's like, that's all you got me? I'm like, you asked for a garden. <laughs> Vinny Brand is our guest. Oh. And is going to be hanging with us this morning. Classic Rock, 102.9 MGK.